Hello and welcome to the Eduonix Phone Gap and Intel XDK course. In this course we'll learn how to create powerful hybrid apps that have the look and the feel of a native app but are built on web standards like HTML5, CSS, and JavaScript. So I'd like to briefly look at what's included in this course. We'll start with mobile internet trends and what the mobile web is in general. Mobile web browsing has tripled in the last two years while PC sales are down more than ever. If you're a web developer, I'd highly suggest you jumping on the mobile train. We'll learn what types of apps are being built, including native, web, and hybrid apps. We'll create some hybrid apps using PhoneGap and we'll be able to utilize some of the device APIs like camera, contacts, geolocation, storage, and multiple others. We'll also take a look at the jQuery mobile framework and how we can make our apps look good using a minimal amount of code. We'll learn a couple different ways to build PhoneGap applications. One is to build Android applications using the SDK with the Eclipse plugin. Uh, and we'll also look at the newer method of developing PhoneGap apps with PhoneGap Build, which is an online platform where we can submit only web code HTML, JavaScript, CSS, and it will do its magic and spit out a, an app that's native to whichever platform that we want. We'll end the phone gap section with an app that we'll build which will be a small task manager app where we can add tasks and clear tasks uh, all on the client side. We'll then move on to Intel XDK which is also known as AppMobi. Intel XDK is a tool that we can use to write HTML5 applications that will run in a native container on any platform. We'll learn about the app framework which is a mobile framework similar to jQuery mobile and we'll also work with some of the APIs that we did in the phone gap section. Uh, geolocation, camera, contacts, and accelerometer. Then we'll debug our application using XDK We'll set up an app called App Lab, which will allow us to test our app on our actual device. And then finally, we'll look at how we can submit apps to the app stores. So you can see that there is a lot of information packed in this series, but it's not too advanced to where beginning developers won't understand. If you have any knowledge in HTML, CSS, or JavaScript, then you should have no problems with this course at all. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.